In this Microsoft Word video, I will show you how to use the amazing Read Aloud tool in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So as you're using Microsoft Word, maybe you're composing an essay or writing a short story or a novel, working on a report, whatever it might be, it can be easy to get so focused on what you're trying to convey that you make mistakes. Maybe you're typing too quickly or just thinking about the subject and not focusing so much on grammar or spelling. Or in other cases, you might just get a little too wordy or too academic or not academic enough in your writing style. There's a built-in tool in Microsoft Word that can help us to eliminate those problems or at least make them better. And it's called Read Aloud. All you do is go to the top of your document and click and then look on the Review tab here in the speech group, you should see Read Aloud. And I'll just click on it, Read Aloud. Technology tips for teachers. The integration of technology in education has revolutionized the way students learn and teachers instruct. In this digital age, educators have a vast array of tools and resources at their disposal to create engaging and interactive learning experiences. I'm going to pause it there. But that's a pretty good computer voice that's reading to me the words in my document and I can listen to it and listen for mistakes or anything else that I want to adjust in my document. Now notice here in the upper right I did have some tools appear. I already showed you the pause Embrace button. You can just click that to pause the reading at any point. You can start it again by clicking on the play button. Technology not only enhances classroom dynamics but we also have Embrace a next the button into lessons too. Interactive whiteboards are transformative tools that That next button skipped down to my second paragraph. And if I clicked it again, it would have skipped down to the third paragraph. I can also click this button to go to the previous paragraph or section of my document. Another great option that's built into the Read Aloud tool is found here. If you click on the Settings button, you can change the reading speed for the computer voice. I don't want to make it too fast. Maybe there, and then I'll click Play. Collaboration and engagement in the classroom. Teachers can display content, annotate, and manipulate information in real time, allowing for dynamic discussions and active participation. Additionally, educational apps and software provide interactive exercises, quizzes, and games that reinforce learning in a fun and interactive manner. These apps can cater to individual learning needs and enable teachers to monitor student progress effectively. Three, foster online collaboration. That may be a little too fast, but I could reduce the speed down again and give it another try. Technology enables students to collaborate beyond the boundaries of the classroom. I think that's better. Here in the settings, I also have the option of changing the voice. Instead of a female voice, it could be a male voice. Click play. Two, interactive whiteboards and educational apps. Interactive whiteboards are transformative tools that facilitate collaboration and engagement in the classroom. I'll pause. Now when you're done using the Read Aloud tool, you can just click this X and it will close it. And you can just go back to typing in your document. One last tip I want to give you about the Read Aloud tool in Microsoft Word is that what if you just want to focus on one portion of your document, not the whole thing? In that case, maybe don't go up to the top and click. Instead, you could click and drag to highlight the exact area that you want to focus on, then go to the Review tab in the Speech group, click Read Aloud. One, embrace the power of visuals. Incorporating visual elements into lessons can significantly improve students' understanding and retention. Utilize multimedia tools such as videos, images, and infographics to complement traditional teaching methods. Visual cater to diverse learning styles and enhance the overall learning experience. Whether it's a history lesson... I'm gonna pause it there. Because I was listening to the Read Aloud, even though it was a little too fast maybe. I noticed that I had these words typed in incorrectly, the wrong tense, singular instead of plural, and so now I've been able to fix it. So I hope you can see the usefulness of this Read Aloud tool in Microsoft Word. And I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so that you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video, and you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. A few of you have been with me for years, or at least months, and I really appreciate your long-standing support of my channel. Thank you. For those of you that watch my channel for the Microsoft Word videos, if you'd like me to create and post more Microsoft Word videos, please consider sharing this video with others that you think could benefit from it. Also liking the video, commenting in the comment section, and of course subscribing to my channel.
All of those steps are ways to make your voice heard that you'd like me to create and share more Microsoft Word videos. Thank you.